everyone. Welcome to Product Talks. We have another edition, and today we have dermatologist Dr. Amy Brodsky joining us, and she is the founder of a great new skincare line called Dermamain, because it's made by a dermatologist. Sometimes brands will say dermatologist recommended, but they often are not made by dermatologists, but this one is. So welcome, Dr. Brodsky. We are really happy to have you on the show today. Thank you. Happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about how long you've been a dermatologist. So I've been a dermatologist for a little over 20 years. Um, I went to the University of Chicago for medical school and University of Chicago for residency. And then in 2007, after being five years in practice with someone else, I started my own practice. And here I am today, still practicing derm. And what made you decide to come out with your own skincare line? Um, there was definitely a need for medical strength products that could treat all of my patients, whether they're coming in for cosmetic reasons or even just general derm reasons. And I felt like there was nothing on the market that really patients was a, that could have patients buy that was affordable and yet at the same time medical strength is what I call it. So I'm always trying to tell my patients that just because you spend a lot of money on a product doesn't mean that it's better. And it exactly. drives me crazy. Sometimes I'll have somebody coming in and using creme de la mer or La Prairie spending Same. $300 on a moisturizer and they're not using a sunscreen and they're not using a retinol. And I just think, oh, you yep. just wasted so much time and money. Doesn't that drive you crazy? Drives me crazy. I don't understand the whole La Mer thing. I, I just still can't figure it out. Um, yes. And I always tell them, you are paying for fancy packaging and large um, jars that are like two ounce size jars with only like a half ounce of actual cream in there. And, yes, and they're paying for the celebrity endorsement and the marketing exactly. money, not even for the product itself. And Always. then I get a yeah. lot of resistance when people, when I tell them to use a retinol because it's been around so long that it's not sexy enough for people. They want, you know, a growth factor mm. or something that sounds great, but doesn't really work. It doesn't have the, the data behind right. it that retinol does. So how do you um, answer that or how do you get you know, one of the, the skincare enthusiasts online, the beauty influencers who need a new story and a new ingredient? How do you get them excited about retinol, which has been around for a long time? Well, um, most of my patients do kind of know about the word retin. So they know that they need something with the retin it, but they don't really understand it. Or they still have this belief that if they're using it, it's going to irritate their skin. So really, I just go back to the basics. Like, this is why you need it. Here's a bit of science behind it. And what we've done is we've added Bakuchi oil, which is more of a nutraceutical type um, cosmeceutical that helps stabilize it, but also makes it less irritating. And also, do you have other anti-inflammatories in your retinol as well? I know you have panthenol in your vitamin C. Um, do, do you have, because it seems that your retinol is not very irritating at all. It's not I'm very at, um, irritating. Yeah, I guess it's just the, the bacu, bacuchiol. Oh, you also have some tocopherol. Yeah. I bet the vitamin E is probably helping A little well. bit in there, but for the most part, you know, it's just those two ingredients. And but believe it or not, the bacuchiol is what really helps lessen the irritation. That's interesting. I know bacuchiol on its own has a lot of anti-aging properties. And so fun. that's great. I think yours is the first product I've seen where retinol and Bacuchiol are together because a lot of mm. times people are trying to use yeah. Bacuchiol instead of retinol. I hadn't seen them together. So I like uh, that you put yeah. them together. That makes a lot Better of sense. Better together than separate. Mm -hmm. And if, um, if what do you personally do for your skin? Like as far as anti-aging, what do you think is the most, besides sunscreen, because of course we agree on that. What do you yes. think the most important anti-aging products are? Well, okay, let's start with the morning. I think it's very important to use a vitamin C and as your antioxidant first. 
and then your sunscreen over it. So I always combine those two in the morning for myself. Um, in the evening, I'll use a hyaluronic acid. I'll even use the hyaluronic acid in the morning as well. Um, and then I'm always mixing my retinol with uh, the Melophade because I'm old enough to be the one that's been getting brown spots. So I mix them together. I put those on and then I use a moisturizer that has niacinamide, which is also an anti-inflammatory, but helps prevent aging as well. And that's pretty much my whole routine. It goes quick. It seems like a lot of steps, but it's really not. And a lot of people don't understand that there's a circadian rhythm to the skin. And in the morning, your skin is trying to protect itself. So that's why vitamin right. C makes so much sense in the morning. And then at night, it's trying to repair itself. So that's why the right. retinol makes so much sense at nighttime. And there, I think a lot of times people will think about just one product, but they don't think about the whole routine and the order of things and how that matters as well. So you can have a simple routine, but you just need to have right. the right products for your, your skin type in the right order and at the right time of day. And I think as dermatologists, we understand that, but I don't think that right. outside the world of dermatologists, people understand that. Like, what do you think about this new skin cycling phenomenon? That drives me nuts. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should yes, have told and you you're like, opinion. it's not really new. We've uh. known this for years. But it's yep. like, why get off of when you're using your retinol every day? Why stop it for a while and go to something that's less good? That doesn't make any sense I, to me. I cannot answer that. <laughs> no, it's, it just seems it seems crazy to me. But right. people want a story, you know, and it's the story of using retinol every night is been said so people don't get excited about it but it's still the way to go i just finished right. the third edition of my textbook and i have a whole uh. chapter on anti-aging and that there's just study after study after study that shows how important retinol is right i agree same thing with vitamin c but the a lot of vitamin c's out there don't work and i notice you have the the, the proper kind of vitamin c the l-ascorbic right. acid and you have it at the right pH, you can feel it tingle when you put it on. Um, but yes. yours is so much less expensive than the other brands. Um, I think that's so important because people will use it more. Um, it, tell me a little Absolutely. bit about your thoughts of how you were able to achieve such a great vitamin C product at a lower price point. I mean, I think a lot of these vitamin C's that are on the market, are you're paying for their fancy packaging and um, maybe the brand behind it. But um, vitamin C is one of those products that I think is a lot of people capitalize on the marketing of it. And so it's very important that when you look for a vitamin C, you have to look for one that has L-ascorbic acid. And that's the natural form of vitamin C that we have in our own skin. Um, now, if that L-ascorbic acid is in like a cream, then it's not the right vitamin C because it's hydrophilic, which means that it has to be in a water base. And a lot of other vitamin Cs are not like that. And so um, the other thing that's important about vitamin C is, is it stable? And that's really hard for the general consumer to know or to understand if a vitamin C is stable. And um and I guess, you know, those are some of the things that's really hard to teach. And I don't think if you're not a dermatologist, you'd really understand stabilization. But just note that Dermamade is stabilized with a vitamin B antioxidant, and it's at the right pH to make sure that it stays stable longer. So it gets in your skin and it stays, it has good shelf life and stays in the bottle. I do like to tell people to replace their vitamin C frequently. Um, yeah. You know, my patients usually re replace it once a month, but um, as soon, you know, definitely don't let it sit there for a year in your bathroom. And once you open it, um, that will make it right. go away. Go back faster. Now, I've always been very brand agnostic, meaning I don't have a favorite brand. I like to pick my favorite vitamin C from one brand and my favorite retinol from another brand and my favorite sunscreen from another brand. Because I've always thought that one company may have wonderful technology making a retinol, but that doesn't mean they make the best cleanser or it doesn't mean they make the best sunscreen. So what I've noticed from talking to you is that you actually went to different manufacturers for each of your products and found the best retinol manufacturer and the best vitamin C Absolutely. manufacturer. 
So instead of cherry picking from different brands, you cherry pick from different manufacturers and put it together. Absolutely. With brand. And I think the hardest one was actually the sunscreen. I mean, that could be a whole topic for another day, but just the zinc molecule alone, um, the technology is different in different labs and it's more elegant from some labs than others. So we tried many, many iterations of sunscreen to make sure that we liked it and that it actually worked and that it had the ingredients that I could put my or our name, Dermamade, behind too. Right. Well, it's wonderful to be able to have products that are affordable, that it's easy to understand how to use them and when to use them. Um, so talk to your dermatologist about Dermamade. You can also find them at SkinTypeSolutions.com. You'll take a quiz, find out your skin type, and find out which Dermamade products are right for you. And thank you so much, Dr. Brodsky, for Thanks. making my job easier because now I can recommend products out there to people that they can they can afford and they can continue and, and they'll get better results if they're consistent and use them over time. So it's not about today and tomorrow. It's about six weeks from now and two, three months from now and a year from now, people will get better and better and right. better because they can afford your product. So great job. I'm really, really, really proud that a dermatologist did it right and made it affordable and is educating people about the truth, about not, not inflated marketing claims. You're telling people about the science. So congratulations right. on that. Thank you. Thanks. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. And um, when you get more products in the future, come back and talk to us. We'd love to hear about your new technologies. All right. Thank you so much.